Happy Monday. There's a few places in the world that I absolutely adore. And I got to go back to one of them last night and I wanted to share a bit about it with you. As it's, it's amazing what people are capable of when given space and time to reflect on really their genesis in the world. You know, what happened that for you, what happened for you when you were young that shaped who you are? What was the moment that you were like, ah, oh, something's happening and I need to be a certain way to be safe? And how does that play out in adulthood? How does that continue to form the way you or I react to situations? And when I'm walking around, carrying that with me into every situation, that way of being from the past, what space is there for possibility? What space is there to come from a place of the now, right now, and not choose or not decide what I'm going to do based on my previous conditioning and my fear and my exposure to actually choose from a place of possibility where anything is possible. And I had an amazing night last night at a friend's graduation at the Landmark Forum and sitting there seeing like a hundred people standing up, being really powerful in their own lives talking about renewing relationships with family and friends and you know aspirations they'd wanted to have or aspirations they'd been sitting on for so long and people who were in family situations they were really uncomfortable with and having them reflect that in three days they'd got their shit sorted out they'd connected with these people who had been you know bereaved long lost challenging situations with high school friends, with people they were struggling with at work, with um, initiatives they'd wanted to start, and just their, their general self-belief in who they were and how they could be in the world. And to see it radically transform, to see a group of people standing there cheering for each other, sharing love for one another, saying that, yeah, you know, you're worth it, this one life you have right now that's passing this moment that will never be again choosing to accept it as it is choosing to be free from past conditioning and to do what their your my heart desires in a moment it's just the most amazing place and the only other place i've ever found that has honesty like that is the sort of the rooms of alcoholics anonymous or narcotics anonymous and they're coming generally from a place of a pretty dire kind of, you know, backdrop, although it does get a lot better over time. Um, so, you know, the, the essence of Landmark, um, the room, uh, and the forum, why can't I not make this solid? We'll try that. That's better. Um, it's just the best place to be. And yeah, I was, um, I went out on a limb for somebody and I don't want to be self-aggrandizing here, though I do want to... Uh, I'm going to... Yeah. I Somebody was asked on uh, Facebook, you know, what do people think about Landmark? And there was all these people going, oh, it's bad, it's bad, it's this, it's that. And they hadn't done the forum. And there was a whole group of people who had done the forum, who I'm watching now over the last six months, year, two years, three years, be amazing transformational leaders in their community and doing the things, even if they're not leading their community, just doing this amazing stuff. And they all went, yeah, it's great. And everybody else went, oh, it's a cult. As if saying something like that, like where's the intellectual consideration for an idea when somebody asks for support, when somebody goes who hasn't been, oh, it's a cult. Like what the fuck is everybody talking about? It's just really narrow-minded. It, I, yeah, it kind of blows me away that that's the, that's the response to somebody standing up and asking, you know, who has experience of this thing and people who have no experience of it turning around and going, just slandering it. It's, um, it's very indicative of the way the political system in this country works. You don't need reasons. You can just attack somebody and then everybody else will get behind you and, ah, uh, anyway, it's not that nice. Um, so, yeah, I was just... Yeah, what I said to the person was, it's a, I'll give you a money back guarantee. 
if you go and you didn't get any value out of it, don't pay. And they went and they were beaming there with their loved one on Sunday night talking about all the things they've been sitting on that they were now really excited to go do in the world. And I get to watch that. I get to watch that person go and grow. And, you know, my mom's done it. My sister's done it. uh, My close friends have done it. And when I asked about it, a whole heap of people I knew who were leaders in the community turned around and went, yeah, um, yeah, we've done it. Go do it, Phil. Um, So if you, yeah, there's so many modalities in the world and saying, oh, you can get what you get out of Landmark in a book is stupid because, you know, it's a collective experience gained through being in a room together and having powerful discussions. So, um, you know, do Vipassana, do Five Rhythms, do Landmark, learn about nonviolent communication, do exercise, eat healthy, do all the things. Though, if somebody says, go do Landmark, you'll get a lot out of it. Don't look at them and go, no. Why not just go, yes, this person who loves you and cares about you, who's suggesting that there's more for you in your life and it's achievable by spending three days in a beige room, uh, just come join the ride. Because that noise, the whole, ah, I want to do something, yeah, and then all that noise in your brain about whether you can or you cannot will go away. You'll just do. You'll become active in your own life. And I really wish that for you. And I wish that for all the people you live with, because you take up their lives with the noise you expose them to. So why not expose them to some positive, supportive noise? And you're capable of it, and I believe in you. So let's do it. Uh, Yeah, bye. Have a happy day.